Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode and in today's episode we do another article review and critique courtesy of the Daily Mail online and this article was written by Isabella Fish and published on the 1st of August 2018. Let's go straight into the headline which is basically a news story, a true news story I must add, um, which reads priceless Swedish crown jewels are stolen Police hunt raiders who made off with the priceless jewel-studded regalia from the cathedral before fleeing on a motorboat. Oh my goodness, the crown jewels of Sweden, or some of the Swedish crown jewels, have been stolen. And this, I must say, is an actual true story. So here we see some of the regalia. I'm not sure which pieces have been stolen. Perhaps it's some of those. Let's find out in the article. Police are chasing thieves in motorboats after the priceless items were taken. Two royal crowns, one belonging to Carl IX and the other to Christina, were stolen. Two men were seen jumping into a motorboat outside Drangnas Cathedral. The crown jewels belonging to the Swedish royal family were stolen yesterday by thieves who sped away on a speedboat. Police were seen chasing the two suspects on a motorboat after the priceless items were taken from Strangnas Cathedral in southeastern Sweden. Two royal crowns, one belonging to Carl IX and the other to Queen Christina, were taken as well as a royal orb. And I think that picture does actually show the ones that were stolen. So there we see the big crown of the king and the smaller crown of the queen. And I'm not sure which orb has been taken, but there we go. Um, Carl IX was the king of Sweden from 1604 until his death in 1611. The two crowns are the burial crowns from 1611, but were later exhumed and put on display. Christopher, the Dean of the Cathedral, said, This is part of the national cultural heritage. This is a theft from Swedish society. The cathedral was open to the public when the jewels were stolen from locked up glass boxes. Police spokesman Thomas last night said there had been no arrests. He said it's one to them right now. And here we see the cathedral where the crown jewels are housed. He added, I have talked to someone at the County Administrative Board that says it is not possible to put an economic value on them. These are invaluable objects of national interest. We are looking for a small and open motorboat. We have some different information about how exactly the boat looked. We are now examining all the tips we received. And then he added a collection of places that you can reach from the boat. Um, And there is a handy little map so you can see roughly the geography of where the crown jewels were stored and indeed taken from. We direct our search in these directions. I witnessed Tom Rousel, who is getting married at the cathedral this weekend, describe the incident. He said, One of my friends saw two people running. I saw the boat just there, a white little boat with a motor on the back. The two men hurriedly jumped on board. We contacted the police and told them and they told us they had taken something from the cathedral. I knew immediately they were burglars because of the way they were behaving. The girls said it was odd in this small quiet town but the fact that the boat was waiting it was obvious to me that they were burglars. And there I think we see probably appears to be the burial tomb I think. There we go. Yes it is. It's the grave of Carl the Ninth at the cathedral. Let's just have another little peek at that. And there we see the king himself. I think it's awful. It's despicable that people would steal from a holy building and take something of historic and monetary value. I hope the police succeed in finding them. Nobody was hurt during the raid. It is not the first time the Swedish royal jewels have been stolen. In 2012, a 19-year-old man admitted stealing £102,000 worth of jewels from Princess Christina's apartment near the Royal Palace. And there we have the end of the article. So I think I'm going to pause on the crown jewels. Okay, so they have been stolen and as of yet are unrecovered. As soon as I know any more information about the recovery or any potential arrests about this incident, I will of course let you know on this channel. Please let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. And also, it really does help if you share on social media. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.